Hey everyone, it's Mrs. Delicious here and I'm back again with another quick stream tip video. In today's video I'm going to show you not one, but two different ways to show your heart rate on stream by using your Apple Watch. So if you don't own an Apple Watch, I'm sorry, this video is not going to be for you, but who knows, there are several different ways to do this, so we might cover another way of doing this in another video. But for now, we're going to focus on the Apple Watch. Now as always, if you like this kind of video, please consider leaving a thumbs up, subscribing to the channel and ringing the bell so you get a notification whenever a new video is being put up on the channel. Now seeing as we've got two methods that we're going to cover today, let's waste no time, let's roll the intro and I'm going to show you how it's done. Now as mentioned already, Today we're going to show you two methods of using your Apple Watch as a heart rate monitor to show on your stream. Now there are several different ways that you can show your heart rate on your stream, but most of them use separate Bluetooth heart rate straps that you strap around your chest. But today we're going to use something that a lot of us already have, namely an Apple Watch. Now there's two ways that we're going to do this, and it only requires an Apple Watch and some apps on it. So let's go ahead and let's have a look at the first method. The first method that we're going to be using is called Heart Twitch or Here Twitch. I'm not exactly 100% sure how to pronounce it, but I will link the app down in the description below so you can look it up. Now we want to use method you're gonna have to download a free app on your Apple Watch also called Heart Twitch I will again post a link to the description down below and you need to download and install that on your Apple Watch before we can actually move on once you've done that you can go to the Heart Twitch website where you can very quickly and easily set up an account with just your email address and a password once you've done that and you've logged in you should see three big buttons one to start your workout one to customize your screen and one to link your Apple Watch now, as of making this video I couldn't get the link Apple Watch feature to work but if you can get that to work you can basically skip the step of adding the code manually because then you can just click start workout and it will automatically link to your Apple Watch. First thing that we're actually going to do here is configure the display and this is where we're going to set up the way that our heart rate is being shown on the stream. Here you can set the background color and the different fonts that you can use in the app. By default the app is using a black background and white font. Now this might work for some people but if you want to have a transparent background I suggest using the bright green colored one so you can just add a chroma key filter in OBS to remove the background altogether. Make sure that you set the heart rate also in a brightly colored font and also one that ideally you don't use a lot in your overlays. Again, Again, this is purely for readability so you can actually read the heart rate easily on your stream. Once you've done that you can go back to the main page and you can click the big start workout button. Once you've done that you will get a code that you need to enter on your Apple Watch itself. So open the app on your Apple Watch and there you should see a box where you can enter the code. Do that and within a few seconds you should see your heart rate appear on your screen on both the Apple Watch and on the website. If this is the case you know that things are working correctly. Now the downside of this tool is that there's no official OBS overlay. Normally when you use something like this you get a URL that you can paste into a browser source into OBS. With this app that's not the case. Instead you need to leave this browser window open every time you're gonna stream. The way you get it into OBS is by using a window capture that captures the window of this tool. Then once you've set it up you can actually crop the window to make sure that you only see your heart rate on stream. Again it's not ideal but it's a free and very simple way to actually show your heart rate on stream by just using your Apple Watch in a free to use app. Now if you want to have a little bit more customizability and you don't mind paying a little bit the next method might be a better solution for you. The next tool that we're going to look at is called Heart Rate Overlay for OBS Studio and it actually consists out of two separate elements. One a website where you can configure the entire overlay and a paid app for your Apple Watch called Health Data Server. I will link it again in the description down below and this app is going to be used to send all the data to the website. And once you've downloaded the app you can go ahead and go to the website side where you can set things up. First you want to have to decide if you want to have a heart rate animation or if you only want to have the heart rate showing as plain numbers. If you want to have the heart rate animation as well you can set the base color and the pulse color of the heart in this area. Once you've set everything and it's all to your like you can copy the URL that you see in the box below and this is going to be your browser source in OBS. Now this tool you can set once and forget about it after because this URL is going to remain the same and you don't have to leave the site open whenever you're going to stream. Next up what we're going to do is we want to scroll a little bit back up on the site where you can see step 2 and that is again going to show you a URL and this is the URL that you're going to need to use in the app that you just downloaded on your Apple Watch. So open that up and there you will see a box where you can enter an IP. In this box we're going to enter the URL that we just got on the website. Now it is very important that you don't refresh the page while doing this because every time you do so you will get a new URL. And you want to make sure that the URL that you post into the app and the one that you have as your browser source have an identical ID on them. And again as soon as you refresh the page you get a new ID. So make sure that you do everything in one sitting, don't refresh the page and you should be good to go. So type in the URL in the Apple Watch 
Watch app, set a workout type, and you can set here as well if you want to send all the data to Apple Health or not. Where you maybe want to send your heart rate and calorie data to Apple Health, but if you're just going to play a scary game and you're going to be seated at your desk, you might want to turn that feature off. After you've done that, click the start workout button and within a few seconds you should again see your heart rate appear on the Apple Watch app as well as on the browser. If this is the case, you've known that you've set up everything correctly. Now there's one thing that I want to mention with this app. As of recording this video, the Health Data Server app has gotten an update which kind of makes the implementation slightly different. It could be that when you set up the IP field and you copy the URL on the website into the app, it doesn't work straight away. Now I've been in contact with the developer of the heart rate data overlay and they are in turn working with the developer of the Apple Watch app to make sure everything works again smoothly. Now I expect the only thing that's going to change based off this is the URL that you have to enter into the Apple Watch app. However, as of this moment, I cannot say for sure if that is the only thing that is going to change. Now, of course, I can't change this video, but what I can change is the blog post that is accompanied to this video. So again, go to the link in the description down below where you can find the written version of this tutorial. And if in the future you have to set this app up in a different way, I will update the article accordingly. So again, if you're having any trouble, go to the blog link in the description and there you will find a way in how to fix it. And there you have it, two very simple and easy ways to show your heart rate on your stream by using just your Apple Watch and a few apps. And this of course can be very fun when you play for instance scary games like Outlast or Layers of Fear. But of course also if you're playing actually active games like Ring Fit Adventure or Beat Saber. This way your audience can actually see how much effort you actually put into the game by showing your heart rate on your stream. And of course if you're playing a scary game your audience can see if that jump scare actually scared you a lot if there's going to be a small spike in your heart rate. Now as always if you liked this kind of video and you thought it was helpful please consider leaving a thumbs up, subscribing to the channel and ringing the bell so you get a notification whenever a new video is being put up. And if you want to take a little bit more time to follow this tutorial along I've got a written version up on my blog so you can read that and follow along on your own time. Now if you have any questions about this video or any of the other videos that I've put up you can find me on Twitch I stream every Monday, Wednesday and Friday the link is in the description down below or if you want you can ask me any questions on Twitter or you can join my Discord where, of course, you can also ask questions about these videos. And you can hang out with other delicious people as well. For now, that's all for me. I want to thank you for watching and all that's left for me to say is that my name is Mr. Delicious. You are all very delicious as well. Happy streaming, good luck, and I will see you again in the next video. Okay, decontamination. Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! It's- it's weekend! Oh my god! Thank you. I have only- oh, someone died.